Hello, my beautiful vibe drivers. Welcome to your October 13th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is our relentlessly optimistic, positively positive, continued movement toward manifesting our best possible life now. As we gather in this energy with that intention, we uh, put our attention toward what we want to manifest and using our ability to uh, be absolutely positive through that process, releasing all fear and starting from this very moment. No matter how many times you've tried, no matter how many times you think it may have have to be from this point on. It's not about the timing. It's about allowing yourself to move through without thinking about how long it takes. We're going to do whatever it takes for however long it takes. It doesn't, there's no real time limit attached to any of it. it although in our human mind and rationale, we may feel pressured to put a time limit on it. There really is no time limit. So we have to be okay with knowing it will come exactly when it should. We just have to keep our focus. So if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you choose the service you would like to schedule. And with that being said, we'll go right into the energy. Well, no surprise. <laughs> The overanalysis paralysis card, the Eight of Swords, this is telling you the choices are there as an illusion to distract you from focusing on the main thing. You, This is why she's wearing a rainbow colored blindfold to let her, and her, her arms can only reach so far. They're kind of suspended with those that little uh, ribbon. So being in a place of understanding, it's, your focus has to be inward. What you see in front of you is only the, the process of what you have manifest so far. And the choices in this particular card are really, truly not even stable. They're illusions of a choice. What that's saying to you is, be still. Let the universe move. Keep yourself focused on your inward goal and get your vibrational energy correct. And when you do, let the manifestation begin <laughs> because this is the magician. The magician is an energy of absolute focus using your heart chakra, which allows you to do it without ego, which also lets go of the, the karmic debt you may create otherwise. So manifest always through your heart, use kindness and compassion and let go of the need to win or be uh, somehow uh, take over something from someone else. So we just want to do it in our own path. We were here for a purpose and our path is, has has been put in front of us. So it's not that we've just happened upon this place. Okay. Do you, you were put in this timeline for a reason? So trust and believe the universe knows exactly which way you need to head. You just have to tune into that energy. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit, eight of cups, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So that second cut card was the eight of cups and you see it made like a, a runway. It is the energy of having done all the tasks one by one that you needed to accomplish um, and learned all the lessons you need. And that's a go from the, from the universe. That's your path is clear. The runway is clear. You may take off, you may proceed. So very solid. Yes, to proceed. And we'll put down our three cards. And underlier. <laughs> they were trying to make a point, obviously. <laughs> let go. Let go. Get out of the way. Well, sometimes you got to imagine yourself trying to run in front of the, the energy that's here or the, you know, so, however you want to imagine it. The universe, God, your angels. You're trying to run in front of them and, and pick up stuff. And they're like, get out of the way. You're slowing me down. So this is where you have to sit down and just to the side you know, and let the universe do its part. You don't have to micromanage. You may move something that shouldn't be moved that the, that's needed. So be still, right? There's a passage in the Bible. Be still and know that I am God. This is, you've got to be still and, and, and trust 
the universe to do the right thing. It will. Receptivity. Receptivity is important. We, this is where we have to be open to information. We have to be open to change and knowledge and uh, to open to be allowed to change your opinion or understand something in a new way. Being receptive means to all things. I am open in my heart and mind to receiving the blessings that I deserve. What a beautiful energy. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. We're, we're opening the receptivity. Oh, good fortune. Hello, good for Hello. I'd like to knock the whole deck sideways here. All right. So we have the good fortune. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. The belief that the universe is conspiring in your favor is no small thing. When you attach, attach yourself to that belief and, and make it true in your heart, it is true. This is what the whole point about this affirmation reading is to, is to show you the ways that are available to you that you may not cur currently know exist or that you've heard of but you didn't quite understand. That's what this is about. Once you believe it's true, it is true for you. Get more information. Sometimes we need to have some, some confirmation on this. And this is where the meditation comes in. You will be given whatever knowledge you need to be able to proceed from where you are. You're on a divine journey. Every single one of us who's in this world, in this living space that we're in, has their own path. And it's up to us to allow ourselves to be guided. And that's what this is. That is the Merkaba or Merkaba, which is the sacred symbol of the divine blueprint of life itself. It is the source energy of all life. So we accept that energy wholeheartedly and happily. This is the moment where Metatron, who is the keeper of this energy, is a guardian angel. He is a... A, a beautiful he's called the scribe of God he's the right hand of God so or universe whatever you want to call it it is that is the Metatron angel archangel energy so the archangel energy is so important they they're the ones assigned to make make our paths available to us they are the human Nurturers, they are the guardians of the human, so they're important. Conception. The frequency of conception invites us to bring our, conscious, our consciousness to our origin, the place where everything in creation begins, which would be this, this sacred symbol. Um, it is the blueprint of all life itself. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention, which is the whole moment the spark is lit. Conception is when, boom, the fertilization of the idea, the, the creative source energy is ignited, and that's when it all begins. I say out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. This is the moment where you get to understand what you concentrate on is what you bring into your life. My thoughts are creative. Our entire energetic being is creative. I say out, out to every negative thought that comes to my mind. No person, place, or thing has any power over me, for I am the only thinker in my mind. I create my own reality and everyone in it. Now, this is not to say that you won't get thoughts. It's up to you to determine whether those thoughts are something that is part of your, and you'll know because it'll harmonize with you. You'll feel safe and peaceful when moving in that thought. If it's something completely contrary and maybe an old habit of being negative, that's when you won't feel like you align with it 
and don't allow yourself to do anything that reacts in a, a defensive way, a uh, malignant way, um, being in a place of, of wanting to hurt or harm someone else or cause them pain. That is never something from divine. That's something we've been taught here in this world and it has to do with ego. So, all my relationships are harmonious. When we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. That's exactly what that's about. All my relationships are harmonious. We create harmony in our minds and hearts. When we, sorry, when we create harmony in our minds and hearts, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. And I'd like to add, as, because I got this as I was reading it, um, you could say all my life is harmonious. Relationships are one part. And they're important. And if you're having relationship issues, definitely say that. But just being in the thought that you're creating the harmony with all the outside things within yourself. When, they, when something comes at you in a negative way, try to restructure its energy and, and make it in a, to where you can bring it to harmony in your mind. Well, we'll take the ten of... Pentacles, hello, harmony in, in financial matters. Ten of Pentacles is receiving abundance in excess. This is the lifetime of abundance energy. We'll take that Ten of Pentacles. Hello, hello. And then we have the Ace of Cups, which is the, the life source energy. This is the universe coming to hand you the vessel that contains life itself, all creative source energy. The Cups of energy is holding the elixir of life, the DNA of all existence. When the universe comes forth to give you this cup, it is not doing it, A, by accident, and it's not doing it for you to get any other, um, like it's not doing it to put you, you know, in an ego win place. This is about building the energy through whatever you're doing is being supported by the universe. That's what that card means. We're getting full support from the universe. And holy moly, is this ever a, a, a rockin', a rockin' reading here. This is awesome. Off the charts, we have the chariot. The, this is the Capricorn, uh, sorry, not, rewind, try cancer. Brain jumped a, a couple of C's. Uh, <laughs> the chariot is the cancer major arcana, and it's the energy of victory. You know I call this Elvira Knievel. That's the energy of being very much in a place of overcoming all obstacles. She's got her rainbow light coming out of the exhaust pipe. And uh, you can see she's having quite a time there. It looks like she's, anytime their hands are above their heads, it's that victory symbol. And so we love that energy. Being in a place of receiving the, the abundance. This is an upgrade. This is very fast moving. It's being seen in the limelight. So... All of this is telling you, get out of your head, get into your spirit mind, and manifest this. Because there's no way that you can miss if you can focus. And this world is, is real good at distracting us. Because spirit seems like it's in a place of emptiness, because it's, it's that quiet space when you're in that meditative space. It's only because it's a more focused energy. And it can only hold the vibrations that you put in within yourself. So allow yourself to be in that peaceful, solid energy and then bring in this victory that's here. You're having the concept. So conception is when the two things meet and create, right? You've got the information of the entire universe here in, in this uh, energy of Archangel Metatron. The universe is giving you the elixir of life, the DNA of all existence. It's saying it's good fortune. And when you create this harmony within yourself, all things are possible. So, what a fabulous Wednesday. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you, love you lots. Many blessings. Namaste.